The Beckham. Have you come seeking? It would appear that my long hours of study have been beneficial. When I heard I would fight the Beckham, I thought I might die. Thank you for the debate, Beckham. I pray that your presence graces me again, Beckoned. You are the Beckoned? I wish to challenge you. Sisters and Face are worthy opponents. That you have debated them is impressive indeed. Especially for one so short. You are one of the greatest debaters I have ever seen, Beckoned. I hope I present a worthy challenge. My query for you is simple. What makes a war worth fighting? That is a suitable response, if a bit subjective. I am of the belief that nothing makes war more worth fighting than a worthy opponent, such as yourself. Prepare yourself for debate. Prepare yourself. Let us support our great war. Zeno's argument was hastily prepared drivel next to your well-constructed thesis. Fine, an older disciple, wishes to debate with you. Speak to Fine. She is my eldest disciple, very powerful and wise. A true challenge awaits you. Speak to Fine. She is eager to match her logic against yours. Study hard, Beckoned. You are a powerful debater. As expected of the Beckoned, I suppose. I wish you luck in future debates, but I doubt you'll need it. If you have wounds to tend to, have your skills.
watch your step. Though the Jotun have wronged us in the park. What brings the beckoned to me on this day? Tread carefully if you are heading into the sewers. You have come again. Is there anything else you require? Very well. I shall endeavor to reward you for your labors. How goes the search for my Galatea? Any news of her yet? Yes. And how was it? Was it unharmed? There are many statues throughout the teeth of Naros beckoned. What is special about this one? Then you found her. It is my Galatea, or what I have left of her. In truth, my wife died, Beckoned, at the hands of a troll years before. I carved that statue to honor her memory, and every passing year I would work further on it, bringing it as close to her likeness as I could. But that ritual was robbed from me. I must have closure. Please, Beckoned, find her killer, the troll called Kern. Bring him to justice. Go back to the Warren and search for him there. That is where he ambushed my wife and me years before. My wife was killed by a troll down in the Warren. All I have left to remember her by is a statue I began carving for her down below. But as I am forbidden to leave the city, the only comfort I have is knowing the statue is still intact. On your way now. Careful here. What brings the beckoned to me on this day? Farewell, beckoned. Stay out of trouble. Can the beckoned be so small? When we came to this land, <laughs> I thought it was a The beckoned. If you are looking for entertainment, feel free to seek the theater of Andrew. Please do not bother the silent choir. Beckoned? It seems my preconceptions were off. But I still need your divine aid. The plague spreads. I have worked on this city for all my lifetime. The sewers that run below it are my masterpiece. But this work of art is besmirched. 
By rats? These foul vermin run rampant in my catacombs, tainting it with their fitted presence. Try as I might, I cannot best the scourge. But you, Beckett, your divine intervention is needed. I have never known beasts with such low cunning and high birth rates. They are fearless as they are disgusting. I have pinpointed a much-traveled route used by the rats and seeded it with traps that can be activated on command. Find the levers that activate those traps. They've been placed on a ledge overlooking the route. When you see the rats pass below, simply pull the levers as they approach the traps. Slay the filthy vermin! Are you enjoying its splendors? This fair city is rich with them. Even in the sewers, under its gleaming exterior, lies a feat of engineering unrivaled by other cities in Amalur. The Lycaeus breeds thinkers, philosophers. They spend their days pondering the greater meaning of existence. Such are their debates that they shake the very foundations of Idylla. For some time, non-believers have touted that the relevance of the Lycaeus has passed. But I'm confident all it needs is one brilliant lecturer to stoke its fires. I am a mason, one of many caretakers of the sewers. A hidden menace, the secret horde. Though few acknowledge them, the rats are the great threat to this city. In my younger days, I hunted the vermin with a force of will unequaled by the greatest of the theologians in the Lycaeus. Once, I hunted the rats that plague our sewers with such zeal. But I have worked myself to exhaustion, and am forced to rest here. Though I rest, the rats do not. Please, find the traps I laid in the sewer, and lay waste to them! I wish you well. Jutan have wronged us in the past. The gods wish us. What's this? Do you bring news from below? With my brother, indisposing himself, it falls to me to keep watch over my family's estate, little though it is. Histis has the nerve to call himself a brother, living in the wilds, acting like a savage. Might as well be a marauder. Look at this place. Why would anyone choose the wilds below over this? They are the lowest. Colossi without faith, mindless, violent, and forever despairing. My family has done much for this city, so we are given our own private station in these quarters. They serve well enough, but I cannot say they compare to the home we had before we came to these blasted lands. My brother? I would hardly consider Histis family anymore. He left that behind when he turned his back on civilization, like one of those marauders. What business has he sent you on, Beckoned? Hmm. I suppose I have been... Rather hard on Histus. If he feels this is his calling, then I should support him as family. The ring is in my chest over there. Here is the key to open it. Yes, farewell.
welcome, Beckoned. Beckoned? Greetings, Beckoned. Have you come to pass the time? If we wait long enough, Stratton might even have another play ready when we're done. Like Stratton and Andronicus before him, I am a writer. But I tend towards essays and dissertations rather than metaphor and prose to deliver my messages. I was a close friend of Andronikos. I have reviewed every production displayed in his theater for those not in attendance. In the years since, I have been told that I've been unkind to Stratton, but I beg to differ. I am honest. I have mixed feelings for our dear playwright. He was once the tragedian prodigy of Andronikos himself. Many looked to him to fill the master's shoes when Andronikos died. Most believe Stratton has succeeded. I am unconvinced. A mighty playwright, Andronikos knew that the gods would be pleased should our art reflect their majesty. Much like Idylla itself, the theater was constructed as much for its utility as it was as a tribute to Athene. I plan to attend, as I do with all the productions held in the city, though my hopes for it are not high. Very good, I'll let you be on your way. How long must we be tested? Though the Jotun have wronged us in the past... What's this? Incredible. You must be the beckoned. What are you doing here? It is a place of respite, or a monument to the god of boredom. Count the columns, or the straws in the bed if you need something to do. Or, better yet, get out of here. I've seen the bulk of his works. They are often pretentious and bloody. I enjoyed Andronikos' satires myself. It knew better days, I think. The current master, Stratton, can keep the people entertained, but not musing. I am a frequent patron of the theater, but I grow tired of Stratton's work. When will Irina produce something? Be safe. These lands are hardly hospitable. After all the miseries they have caused, I'm surprised. Have you been to the Lycaeus yet, Beckin? The beckoned with. There is always quiet in the living quarters when needed. It is a good place for me to work. I'll not take up any more of your time. Ah, the famed beckoned comes to me at last. Admittedly, my request might be the smallest you will hear, but I wish to voice it nonetheless. I do not forget Arches, or what he did for my people. He led us here, and started this city, but most cannot see past his flaws. How do you find our city, Beckoned? Grand, is it not? It is the great island of progress, as I see it. But even it cannot forget the world it left below. All the rocks you see, here and in the sewers, once rested in the teeth of Naros. This is a place for those who are weary of their burdens. If you feel so, you can rest for a while. I'm just one who's intent on maintaining the cultural integrity of her people. We were once no nobler than the Jotun or the Etin. Some would purge this history, but then how will we remember it? To preserve the past. 
all around us is the great chisel and hammer of progress, keen on dragging my people towards enlightenment. But such progress means nothing without context. I wish for someone who can find artifacts of my ancestors, reminders of our simpler times. Very good. I'll reward you for any artifacts you can find, but larger artifacts will do well for both of us. I await your findings. They are strewn throughout the teeth of Naros. They may be hidden in forgotten corners or carried by beasts as trophies. They are little things, of no intrinsic value. But as my people are so convinced to make progress, these artifacts are the few records of who we once were. Be careful with them. I pray you are finding the work suited to you, Beckoned. The task is small, but not insignificant. Good luck in your search. Can the Beckoned be so small? What's this? You are free to visit whenever you've suffered wounds. We have plenty of beds to spare. Our city has hung in the heavens for a time now, but it remains incomplete. Idilla's centerpiece, the Hyperion, rejected our magics and refuses to rise. I make sure the beds are swept and that any who need aid receive it. My people have long led lives that inflict a certain strain on the body. As you may have seen, even in our city among the clouds, danger persists. Thus, we maintain the living quarters as a place of rest, open to all. You carry our hope across these shoulders of yours, tiny though they are. Ah, at last. The life of a colossi puts much to rest on the body. I almost did not see you. <laughs> if theme guide your actions. to me on this day. You have seen Histus? I have not heard from him in so long. I was worried something had happened to him. What business has he sent you on? as oblivious and idealistic as the day I took him for my husband. Very well, I will see him after straightening out some affairs. Tread carefully if you are heading into the sewers. You must be the beckoned.
So you have completed the tasks, but I do not see Corina. Then her choice is made. Well, there is no more putting this off. I must take my leave. Well, the Jotam go with bare feet, so I will as well. Take my sandals, Beckoned. They may be of some use to you. Corina is coming. I... I have to say, I was not convinced that she would ever be made to come down here. Well, I suppose my journey can wait just a bit longer. Seeing my Corina one more time was worth putting it off. Thank you for all your help, Beckoned. I hope this compensation is enough for your assistance. Stay safe. Let's <laughs> go. 
In the youth of Amalur lived the Uranos, existing from the hill lands alone. They held not the blessings of the gods, and so were blinded to their own potential. We lived in ignorance among the savage people. We wasted the gifts of the gods ourselves. Yeah. 
You destroyed all the urns? What a relief. Their dark magic will no longer be attainable by the trolls. 
You can withstand these magics. Perhaps you can make use of this artifact I've uncovered. A grim shield, but strong. Safe travels, Beckoned. And you return to me. I hope you are finding this work well suited to you. Very well. I shall endeavor to reward you for your labors. You must be the beckoned. The beckoned has come. You have slain Kern. I now have the peace of mind to know that my wife's murderer is no longer around to torment her grave. I cannot thank you enough. I have little of my own, but take these. The gauntlets I wore when I first started carving stone. May they serve you. I miss her every day. But there is some small comfort in knowing that her death has been avenged. On your way now. Many 
Greetings, stranger. How may I serve? Watch your step in the concourse. You are the Beckon. Have you come seeking debate? Well, that was a debate well fought, Beckoned. I had no idea one so small could be so ferocious. I lost consciousness for many moments after you struck me. Well, goodbye, Beckoned. You've defeated many of Master Onisimos' students, Beckoned. I am the oldest, the most powerful. Prepare yourself to face the Master's most gifted student. Excellent. You've done well thus far, but I have another query to test you. Does might make right? You are proposing that strength will come to the just, as long as they are virtuous. That is baffling. How can one be virtuous if one is weak? And how can one be just without the strength to protect oneself, one's family? Let us debate, and I shall show you my view of the world. Prepare yourself. I am eager to support my <laughs> Beckoned, welcome back. Have you been enjoying your debates? Indeed, you have defeated all of my students, Beckoned. The issue I pose to you is this, brought to my mind by your overwhelming strength. Can those with absolute power, such as yourself, have courage? 
If one enters battle with victory all but assured, can one also be called brave? proven differently here at the Lycaos. Very well. Let us debate. Prepare yourself. have my underlying gratitude for participating in our competitions. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. Word of your scintillating lectures is sure to bring attention to our school. Already there are more spectators in the Lycaos than there have been in years. Your thoughts guard you well in combat. May this talisman offer you similar protection. Though we were all taught sound lessons, my students and I have never seen this many in the Lycaos. Truly, you have helped us. Study hard. <laughs> <laughs> You are a powerful debater, as expected of the beckoned, I suppose. I wish you luck in future debates, but I doubt you'll need it. If you have wounds to tend to, Paris can assist you. You are the beckoned. Have you come? Are you in need of medical assistance? I know the healing arts. I have not seen the Master so happy in some time. Thank you for helping him, Beckon. Enjoy the debates. Beckoned. 
Have you come seeking debate? Greetings, Beckoned. You have fought very well, Beckoned. I shall learn much from your style of argument. I wish you luck in your endeavors, Beckoned.